What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. For 48 hours, we will be here in Charlotte. I'm gonna take you around the city and the best things to do. Let's explore the city. We don't really have any set plans. We just want to explore the city. So the first thing we came into is this park here. Probably gonna butcher the name, but Romare Bearden Park. It's right next to the Charlotte Knights Field and it's super nice here. All around the city so far, we've seen these bird bikes. If you get the app, you can get one of these bikes. In this park, they have this fun waterfall. Looks like people are running under it too. Nice way to stay cool. Right across from the park is this little alleyway street. Looks like they have some restaurants and bars down here. So here's a little like indoor section of that. That's fun. So this area is called the Lata Arcade. And it has some restaurants, bars. So on Levine Avenue of the Arts, you have the Mint Museum here. It's this really pretty, wow, really pretty architecture building and they have a Mint Museum store right out front here. This is a really nice intersection corner here, right here you have the Mint Museum, the Knight Theater, this pretty art sculpture, and yeah, we're just gonna explore in here now. Right across from the Mint Museum, they have this really nice pretty park with all these fun signs. I didn't know that there were this many Charlottes in the world, that's funny. So here's the park, it's pretty. So this is the green right here. I really like this. These are really neat seats right here in this park. <gasps> I love these. They look like those, but they're hard. This is so nice. It's such a pretty night too. So it's a Saturday night here in Charlotte. And well, at least we're used to New York City being so loud and it's really really quiet here and if someone's loud it's like just so loud because it's so quiet you know it's really nice right across the street from that park is the charlotte convention center not sure what you do here but it seems important to some people it's really pretty here is the bank of america tower and right behind it is the Bank of America Stadium, home of the Carolina Panthers. Is anybody a Carolina's Panthers fan? Let me know your favorite NFL team in the comments down below. Joey, what's your favorite NFL team? You said the Carolina's Panthers? The Carolina Panthers. My favorite team is the Los Angeles Rams. Go Rams. And we had to stop in Starbucks, of course. All right, we are back in the car. We are headed to the Noda area to try to get some dinner, walk around, check out that area over there. This place in Noda is called Smelly Cat Cafe. It's so cute. They have this cool movie theater here. Look how cool this is. It's all beer cans, it's a tree. So this place is really cool, the protagonist. I love these like vintage teas. I'm just like a sucker for them. So yeah. I think it's a brewery too. I don't really know how to describe where we are right now. I've never really been somewhere like this. It feels like very like European-esque. So everybody's very like free. Free free spirited. Free vibes. Our dinner tonight is at Haberdish. Haberdash? Haberdish. Haberdish. Haberdishers. I think I'm going to get the fried chicken tenders. Seat is not wide enough for my leg. <laughs> oh my god, I'm you stuck. and your seat. I'm stuck like I was at, um, where was that? The barnstormer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the PBJ baking plate that actually looks pretty good. And here are the hush puppies. I've never had a hush puppy before. Ah, so I'm excited. Wow. What? They're good? Really good. So that's sweet tea butter. It's awesome. All right, I gotta try. All right, my first hush puppy. <laughs> you gotta take a big bite so it's not oh. crunchy. Get some of the dough in there. I like the butter. Yeah, it's awesome. Joey's like smiling so big right now. I think he really is enjoying his hush puppy so far. All right, here's the bacon. Peanut butter and jelly. I don't even know what to expect. Wow. Good? It's like so many different flavors in one. I can't even describe it. I've never eaten anything like this. It's incredible. So that's different than pretty solid. So that's a good thing. 
<laughs> All right, here I go with the bacon. I'm very nervous. I'm not like the biggest bacon fan ever. Here we go. I like don't even know what I'm eating. I know. <laughs> I taste the jelly. I taste it's pretty good. It's different. I've never seen. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Joey got the featured entree, the Nashville hot chicken. And look at that. It does wow. look insane. Good. Then there's me with my three chicken tenders. So good. So spicy, but it's so good. Don't miss out on this place, says Joey. Joey Palace approved? Very approved. <laughs> I'm really a fan of inside of this. It's not like tenders you would get in like an amusement park. Like this is legit white meat good chicken. Joey said this is one of the best things he's had in years. Oh my god. Tomorrow we're going to the NASCAR Hall of Fame so if you are interested in that vlog make sure to check it out. I will link it in the description right down below. All right after the NASCAR Hall of Fame we're stopping here at JJ's Red Hot. For a hot dog place this is really nice like the seating there's indoor seating too. If there was a hot dog place like this in New York it would not have this right? And it would be packed. Okay so here are my hot dogs <laughs> and here are my fries. Those fries look awesome. Fries are so good. All right Joey what did you get? The southern girl and a chorizo dog. It tastes like bologna. I've never had a hot dog that tastes like bologna. It doesn't have like that bitterness of normal hot dogs either. driving cam now we are off to the whitewater center so this is like a very popular thing to do in charlotte we've heard a lot about it they have whitewater rafting zip lining rope jumping mountain biking yoga kayaking kayak so here's where you buy your tickets we got a ticket just for kayaking because the next reservation for whitewater rafting is 5 p.m. But unfortunately, that's a very long time from now. Here's where the whitewater rafting is. What you need to do if you want to go on one of these is come here right in the morning because you do need reservations. This place is honestly massive, but you can see there's some zip lines up here along the river. We made it on the kayak. This is so fun. We get this kayak for 90 minutes. We got a kayak for two people. There's Zoe. You need to wear your life vest. And you can also do paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding in this area as well. Okay, Joey, you got this. Paddle me. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. All right, you don't have to rock the boat while you paddle. We just finished kayaking. I had a good time. It was very chill. It's not like a guided tour, which is kind of nice. You don't feel pressure to like keep rowing or whatever. Like we just like hung out under a tree for a little bit to cool off. This is definitely something to look into if you like outdoor activities. This place is pretty much like a big camp for adults. The white water rafting looks awesome. If you're into this, definitely. Oh my God, how is that guy? Oh, he fell. It's pretty cool. You can see here like how the rapids are made. That's wild. In this building here is Whitewater Yoga. And just to give you a reference, that is the entrance right there. We just got done at the Whitewater Center. It was really fun. They had so much that you could do. It's definitely a big part of the Charlotte life, the Charlotte culture. So if you're looking for that, I highly recommend going there. I'm glad we went and checked it out. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Here we are at Max Speed Shop for some nice barbecue. Apparently this place is one of the best barbecue in Charlotte, so we're so excited. Okay, Max Speed Shop. I really enjoy my meal. I was like, eh, I don't know, really know what I'm gonna get. Like, I don't really like barbecue food. I decided to get a salad with the pulled chicken. It was really good. The pulled chicken had such a nice flavor. It was moist. I was pleasantly surprised with the chicken. The salad itself, you know, it was a salad, but it was good. The lettuce was good. The mac and cheese was amazing. The cheese was so good. I enjoy the mac and cheese a lot. Now Joey's meal, he got the combo, which had basically everything on it, right? It had St. Louis ribs, uh, pulled pork, brisket and dark beer can chicken. It was a great place. Definitely if you're looking for some barbecue food in Charlotte, I'd recommend it. Thumbs up. It is Crystal Palace approved. We are done at Max and now we're gonna head off to Krispy Kreme. Make sure to check out that vlog. I'll link it in the description down below.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video a day and a half here in Charlotte. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed this city. There was a lot of things to do and they were all kind of like spread out, which made it nice to explore the different areas of the city. I would definitely come back here. Make sure to leave me a comment down below if you've ever been to Charlotte and what are some things that you like to do here. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Stay tuned for more fun here on the Crystal Palace. Peace.